Hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Gwen, and today we are back with some more of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, he like started walking towards me very, almost deliberately, so it, it, it got me a little nervous. I was like, okay, what, what are you doing? Um, anyways, last time we, uh, we, we took a bit of a nap on a ship, which, you know, kind of, uh, kind of went out a little long, and so we missed our little rendezvous, uh, to do some Thieves Guild questing, so I guess we're not gonna be doing that, uh, for now. You know, I'm feeling kind of wired after the whole incident on the, on the ship and on the, and all that, so, uh, what I think we're gonna do, um, you know, it's almost morning, let's go ahead and find a place to, I'm pretty sure we're carrying a lot bunch of things. Yeah, we, we need to, we need, you know what, we need to dump off some of this crap. We need to get rid of some of this crap, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Frostcrag. Just like I said last time, let's go ahead and fast travel off to Frostcrag, and then we can see our vault, right? We can, we can see all of our, our cool stuffs, and then, um, and, and hopefully be able to put it away, because we, we purchased an upgrade, and I haven't been able to see what that upgrade did. So let's, uh, let's travel to Frostcrag Spire. I figure we're in the Imperial City, I'm like, I, I'm not gonna run all the way to, uh, uh, the Imperial College, um, like, uh, the, uh, because, or, not the Imperial College. What's it called? Arcane? Something College. University. Arcane University. Man, I, I had, <laughs> I had the entire name wrong. Um... We, we were close enough. We were in the city, uh, so I'm I, I'm okay with using the fast travel from there. Uh, so we'll run on in here. We can dump off uh, whatever excess things that we have that we we're not gonna sell for whatever reason. I don't know. We're we're we're, we're smart like that. Um, and uh, all right, was it? Uh, that's the living area. Uh, here's the vault. Let's see what we got. Oh, wait. Why are the little imps? So I've got stuff strewn all over the place. So <laughs> all it did was just get a bunch of containers for us. Chest. A vault guardian. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like they added a bunch of wine. Shadow banish wine. What the heck is shadow banish wine? Tamika vintage. 415. <gasps> what was, um... It's really brother's wine. There was one vintage that was supposed to be really good, and I, 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 <laughs> I don't know why I do this. I'm like, I'll remember, and then I never remember. Uh, there's an hourglass in there. Bowl, broom. Because yes, this this is where I would store my my hourglasses and stuff. I I would I would keep them in barrels. It it, it keeps them fresh. It helps 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 them to age uh, age well. Um. So th these come actually sort of pre-filled with just random items. Okay, that seems a little weird. Um, okay, so when I first come out, <sighs> this doesn't actually make things any easier to store stuff because I'm like they're just sort of strewn around. There's no organization to this. I basically paid someone a bunch to come over here and just drop some chests in my basement. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, sorry. We got some imps. You know, so we got ourselves some little guardians that will never do anything because nobody's coming here. Um, what is this? This is like some glowiness. Just some cool glowiness? Okay. Um, all right, so I need to, I, I, okay, you come down these little stairs. I, I, okay, I need to pick one and then work my way from. I, I like, I like looking in this direction because this direction here has got like some boxes stacked. So this feels like a good place to just sort of start. With with uh, with putting things, so we'll say little box, and we'll use the little box for stuff like, um, I don't know, ingredients, excess no, because I want the ingredients so that I can. Okay, let's let's get rid of some of these uh, tomes. I could sell the tome though. See, I'm I'm kind of I'm really torn here because, it's uh. It's oblivion. I know a lot of this stuff. Like I, I'm either going to use it, or it's going to become outdated, and then I won't want it anyways. Okay, let's let's put the. We we know for a fact the paintbrushes. Uh, I haven't actually played with them. I should play with them. Let's let's play with them right now. We're gonna play with the paintbrushes first, and then. Uh, I well, I know I've only got two, but before I put them away, let's play with paintbrushes. So. Uh, what do you, where, where are they? Do we just drop them on the ground? Alright, so... 
Zed? Zed? No? Z Zed? No? Okay, I'll take one. So I placed down one. Yeah, there's definitely collision there. Yeah. So I, I, could, I could see that if, if you, uh... Okay, yeah. I'm able to stand on it. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Um, you. You. Straight wall. I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Is this how it works? Where, where, where'd my paintbrush go? Crap, did I lose my paintbrush? I think I lost my paintbrush. I, I, I was trying to put it in the wall or something. I literally, I put it in the wall. Ah. What if, okay, what if I'm looking straight like this and I just go... Oh! Okay, so it literally just gets... Dropped right in midair. It has no- Oh, it has no gravity applied to it! That's how they work! Oh! Oh, that is so exploitable. Which means, though, I did probably lose it, because- So it's got, like, probably got, like, what? No collision, because it went straight into this wall. And on top of that, it probably has no gravity. Um, yep. Alright, so our, our paintbrush is, uh, is gone. That's fine, I can get more. Oh, wait, there it is, I found it, I found it! <laughs> okay, so paintbrushes, uh, yeah, I can definitely see that being fun. Um, we don't need levitation! All, all the levitation magic has been sealed away in paintbrushes. We now know the secret. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, drop some, um, let's drop our paintbrushes in here. They, they do have a little bit of weight to them, so. Why not? Um, honestly, I feel like I just want to sell the things. Yeah. I I feel like I should just sell the things I don't want to carry with me. Um, black water blade, absorb fatigue. That may not might be cool. I think I need to I need to really choose which um which items I want to uh, keep with me. Black water blade sounds like it would be um. Actually, pretty devastating. Uh, Twenty points for, but yeah, but that's a, that's a, that's an effect. That's that's eleven damage. Hmm. Glass longsword. I could enchant that at a later time. It's really heavy. Let's put that away. I can come back to that. And that's actually probably going to be all I really need to do, so that I'm not over encumbered. All right, we're we're, we're done here in Frostcrag. Uh, I'm actually really not that impressed with uh, the storage. Uh, I am going to pick up these books though. Um, Bound Gauntlets Tome. Uh, I I need to um. I need to make a thumbnail. Um, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. There we go. I, I, I put some, some things in their boxes and the various things and stuff. Um, and that should, uh, should do it. Uh, hotkey one. I think while playing around with stuff, I may have, uh, messed things up. Uh, let's try the Blackwater Blade. Going forward here. All right. Back to the main level. Um, I'm gonna go over to um, the living area because I remember there was a bunch of al alchemy ingredients there And I'm like, you know what if I grab myself a bunch of alchemy ingredients. I should be able to make myself some sweet sweet potions and <laughs> I can get if I get ingredients that weigh me down more I can make potions to like unweigh me down Sure. Yeah, that logic tracks right? <laughs> Holy crap M my, my thinking was just like the reason why I can't make some potions is that I, I've got some, uh, I'm, I'm lacking some uh, secondary ingredients for some of the effects. So by coming here and just filling up on a variety of items here, uh, I'll be able to, um, you know, just go be able to go ahead and uh, make more potions. But I'm still, good, I'm still, I'm still encumbering myself more by doing this. But whatever, it, it's working on our alchemy skill, which is proving to be a very uh, important skill to. Us. Um, this is actually really handy. This, like, Frost Craig is worth getting, I think, just for like these, uh, the, the, the uh, the alchemy ingredients. Like, it's, it's just a quick stop and you grab a bunch of stuff and. 
like, wow, that's like, what, 10, 10 weight just on alchemy things? Now, I do need to, um, probably upgrade my, um, I, th I think someone pointed it out that I need to upgrade my, my alchemy, um, st set, you know, we're using a journeyman alembic, what, what is our, what is our alchemy skill even at? It's, um, let's see, alchemy. We, we are, well, we are a journeyman, so we should stop, uh, we should probably replace these, these novice ones. Now, I do have to ask, <laughs> I'm sorry, what is the difference in quality between a novice mortar and pestle and a journeyman mortar, mortar and pestle? Like, what makes that, that other pestle so much better? Because I, I, I've used a mortar and pestle. They're pr it's pretty basic. It's like, it's like you've got a bowl type thing. With the, it's got a bit of like a texture to it, it's got a little, uh, so that you can grind things easily, so it's not sliding around. And you got a little stick that also has the same kind of texture, and you just gotta like grind things. So what makes what's the what's the difference in quality between a novice mortar and pestle and a journeyman mortar and pestle? I I, I I'm not I'm not quite sure what uh, what uh, what the um, the quality difference is there, but okay, sure. Um, all right, so I think the other. Um, Let's see, what are we doing now? Do we have an active quest right now? The arena was the last one. Hmm. What time? Okay, it's 1.20 p.m. So, the fast travel, like, obviously it's not like a, a teleport thing, so... <sighs> that does throw things off, because in my mind, I'm, uh, like... I'm still processing things like, oh, if I teleport, then it's going to be instantaneous, and then I can, like, spend some time at night, you know, early morning, just making it back to an, uh, a location, but that's not how it works. Uh, so, by the time I get back to, to the, if I, if I fast travel back to the Imperial City, uh, it's going to be night again by the time I get there. So, I'm like, ah, uh, what do I do? What, do, what, what do I do? You know, part of me's... Wait, what? Repairing the orrery. I've discovered a note from Bothiel at the Arcane University. If I can recover the dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Alice and see if I can... Or Alice? And see if I can track down the, these bandits. Okay, horse armor. I was like, I don't remember getting this quest. This is one of the DLC ones, right? Where, where did the, the DLC ones end? Um... Okay, I, I think right here, Order of the Virtuous Blood. So, right after a door in the in, in a Nibbin Bay, I feel like this is, uh, I think this is a DLC thing. So all the quests above this are not DLC. Um... I guess Order of the Virtuous Blood. To locate Roland Genseric, Serador suggested I ser search his home, which is also here in the Temple District. Let's, let's backfill a little bit. Some of, the, some of these quests we got a long time ago, and before I completely forget all about them, let's, uh, let's start working through them. Uh, so this is about, uh, I've been told that Roland uh, Jensarek here in the Temple District uh, uh, of the Imperial City is a vampire. The Order would like me to kill him. Okay. Let's, let's, we, we've made these crazy, like, just, actually, wait, no, I'm sorry, if that, I'm not sure about that word. I use it so, I use it so freely, but I've been told that that's, that's sort of entered the realm of possibly, like, offensive. So, um, if we leave these, I have to sleep, I just realized I have to level up. Um, if we leave these... Delusional people? They, they are delusional! Um... F for long enough? We've left them long enough, so maybe now we'll ch take a look at who they think is an actual vampire? Yeah, perhaps. Now these here! Wait, these teleporters! Do these ones uh, have a, a time, um... Do they, do they uh, pass time the same way, or is it, this is in instantaneous? It's possible that this is instantaneous. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Imperial City. Um... Imperial City, the Arcane University, um, and by coming to the Arcane University, we can, yeah, it's about the same amount of time. Uh, so here we are in the Imperial City during the day. I, I do want to rest though. <laughs> I came all the way here. Uh, I could have just rested in Frostcrag. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but I want to level up. I've got, I've got to level up. I'm sorry, we're like what, 20 minutes into this, and I haven't really actually done anything. So I'm like, come on. Uh, Mystic Archives. I just need Mage Quarters. I just need I just need a nap so I can level up. Well met, Guildmate. Uh, Mage Quarters. Uh, where, where where's where's my bed? Where's the bed? Mage Quarters basement. 
Okay, power nap. How long would you like to rest? One hour. You've ascended to level 16. You've been trying too hard, thinking too much. Relax. Trust your instincts. Just be yourself. Do the little things, and the big things will take care of themselves. Um, alright, willpower and personality, because they are plus threes, and we want to take advantage of that. Um, after that... Uh, we're getting into the higher levels, and I should have got my endurance up higher earlier, but whatever. Um... I know, I know some people are like, this is not optimal, you're playing terribly. I'm like, yeah, I know, because endurance, you always want to do it earlier because of the way health is calculated in this game, but... Uh, yeah, okay. I, um, I, I, I never claimed to be a smart person, nor do I care about playing smart. Because I, I feel like if, if the game is tailored to such a, to, in such a way that you have to play optimally, uh, eh, like on a, on a default difficulty, it's probably not. Not, not, not good, but anyways, um, I don't know what to put points into. I feel like strength. Speed is great, like for athletics, light armor, and acrobatics. Actually, I feel like speed probably is a better choice. Because I'm thinking about this, I'm like, okay. Obviously, I'm going to be uh, squishier. I'm not, I'm just not a strong character for, like, taking hits and crap. Um. So... And I've put, if I put another, if I put this into endurance, it's not, it's still not going to give me a uh, much, much more of a health bonus. But speed, I'm like, that's going to help light armor, and that's going to help athletics, and that's going to help me run faster, so if I need to escape. So, at, at the expense of not being very durable, I need to be able to at least be able to compensate it with, because I, I, if I'm right, if I increase the attribute uh, associated with light armor, that should help my light armor out, right? Plus, it'll help me escape from enemies quicker, so we'll put the points into uh, speed, um, but strength. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, I just realized my strength is, um, is lower than my speed. Okay, we'll put strength. <laughs> Crap. Uh, no, no, you've got to get, you've got to get that endurance up. Yeah, but... All right. In the case of a tie, I, I feel like I'm kind of using a little bit of everything. But in the case of a tie, like uh, these are all plus twos, I think uh, I'm just gonna make it a rule to just go with the lowest attribute. So we're gonna bring up endurance. Uh, I mean, it'll help with block armor too. Um, I could, you know, I could shift into heavy armor, but I, I kind of feel like that's not what I want for the character. It's not really the character. Um, Oh, that would be a great way to build up uh, my endurance a little bit earlier. <laughs> a little bit earlier. You're level 16! Alright, we'll, we'll go with endurance. Because, yeah, this is really low. Alright. How close are we to leveling up? Not close at all. Okay. Alright, let's go check on this supposed vampire. Um, these, these vampire killers want me to kill this person. I don't think we're gonna do that because... Wait, what the heck? Why, why is... Why is it pointing me to the arch... Mage lobby? No, I clearly need to go out this door. It's interesting. I, you know, I think this, this, um, this area, it's, uh, a little bit uh, on the, um... I don't know if I'd call it bug side, but basically, uh, I think it, it, uh, it assumes that if you're in one spot, that you're going to need to go through that little tiny room to get to the other side, um, because those do those doors started those exterior gates they started off locked, right? Um, so I think that it still it still well, goes through that same thought process every time you enter the cell, where it's like, uh, oh yeah, you're going to need to go through here to get to the other side, but because the gates are now unlocked, uh, it 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 doesn't know exactly how to handle that or doesn't uh, give you the proper um, update for your quest marker. Um, I should, next time I'm there, I should try, <laughs> if I remember, which we, we all know I won't, um, I should, uh, um, tr tr see if I can trigger that, uh, I think, I think go by going into the menu, I can trigger that, okay, Roland Agenserik's house, average, okay, I'm being spied, I'm, oh, wait, who sees me, okay, nobody sees me, does anybody see me? No? All right. All right. It's an average lock, so we can get in here. Presumably. Oh, man. It's been a while since I played this minigame. 
And I have not missed it. Your security skill increased. Yes! Finally. Okay. There we go. We're in. I've arrived at Roland Jensurik's house. I should begin to search the place for any clues as to his whereabouts. Wait. He's not missing, right? He's a suspected vampire? It's a vampire. Okay. Why would they think that? Uh, well, we got a piece of paper here. It's a shopping list. And a handbill. The shopping list clearly... Apples, onions, lard, cheese, milk? <gasps> Most definitely a vampire. When you need protecting, wear armor made of the best, made at the best defense. We'll keep you safe from the sharpest blades. Uh, what do we got here? Avar Stonesinger. I don't think that's, um... I don't think that's, uh, that's vampire literature. But I could be wrong. Uh, what do we got here? The basement. The basement is locked as well. Okay. Now, he might be sleeping here. Because if he's, he is a vampire, then he's sleeping, right? Because we're here during the day. His private quarters average. Okay, wow. Everything's locked up tight. Why? There we go. He's not here. There's a skull on his desk, though. Where did he get that skull? <gasps> Maybe it's his skull! <laughs> I don't know where that idea came from, but I kind of love it. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna use- I'm not wearing my skull today. Uh, handbill, damage, agility. Um, if you need quality arms and armor, you have to sh uh, you have to shop at the fighting chance. We specialize in custom fitted armor. Argonian account, parchment. He does have a lot of stuff locked up. Um. All right. Well, I guess we we should start going through his things very hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Okay, let's start with the easier ones and then work our way up to the hard ones. Um, like a jewelry box. That's hard, right? I don't- I don't know how long before he comes back home. Alright. Gold, silver nugget, and ebony ring. Yeah, sure. Hey, we are a thief after all, right? Chest very hard. He's got a lot of very hard locks in here. Darn it. Okay. Yes! Steel boots, chainmail, gauntlets. Hmm. Okay. Uh, drawers, did we check these ones already? Yeah, nothing suspicious there. Alright, uh, okay, come on. I can do this. I- oh, Darn it. I'm- I'm not a fan of this minigame, but it does seem like the minigame may make the picking, um, a little less hard on the the number of picks you have left. There we go. A crystal ball. No, I'm good. Like there, there's a certain sort of pattern you can kind of get used to uh, when picking uh, that you definitely can preserve your uh, lock picks a bit more. So like in that sense, I, I I'm okay with it, but um, it's still not one of my favorites. Security skill increased. Perfect. Rat meat. No. Um, nothing. There's really nothing suspicious here. Let's go- okay, let's go to the basement. Alright. Ooh, he's got stuff down here. Um, nothing suspicious though so far. Uh, handbill. When you need protecting. Okay, same thing. Three Brothers Trade Goods has a sterling reputation for honesty. We will always pay what your trade goods are worth and always charge you a fair price for what you buy. Uh, he's got wines. Wines. He's got some potions here. Strong potion of sea stride and strong potion of might. So I I'm, I'm presuming he's a bit of an alchemist. I'll take the repair hammer. Thank you. 
Um, and nothing really in the chest. Oh, <gasps> skooma! <laughs> like, yoink, that's mine. We're taking the skooma. Um, I, I see no... Um, wait, no, yeah, I don't, I don't see any indication of where he is or might be. Like, he might... I, I, I hate that because because of the way the um, the physics work the crap like it while it sh uh, shifts when I enter the room it makes it sound like motion so I was like oh he's home but I don't I, I aside from like the way bills I don't know where he um, where he could actually be so maybe uh, what was it there was what three uh, a fighting chance the best defense and three brothers. Right? So he's got he's got armor. We've seen that he's we uh, it's in the other chest, I guess. We've seen that he's got armor. We haven't seen any weapons. So um if he is trying to get a weapon, maybe he's out shopping. He definitely seems like he's got a thing for uh but I don't see any uh, alchemical like um, uh, apparatus, like there, or apparatuses. Has? Yes. Um. And the uh, wait—is there anything? No, it's still just when you need uh, the best defense shopping list. He's, he might be out getting groceries. But he's got a lot of food. Okay, one more, one more quick perusal of uh, of his basement. Maybe there's a trap door. I don't know. Maybe there's something I missed. I think Buddy's. <laughs> he's got his own. He's got potions. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a, a beat on the guy. Like. Okay, he likes drinking. He likes he likes um He likes skooma. He likes wine. He has like his own little bar thing down here. And it's all cheap wine, cheap wine. He's got some ones with vintage on them. But I don't see any These way these handbills have to be something. They have to be so three brothers. Let's go take a look at. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go check out those uh, those places that um, he's got all the bills from, like the ha the hand bills and all that crap. Um, which hey, I am I'm loving that. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, your uh, you're giving me um, you're making me you're making me think. <laughs> like I'm like, wait a second, there's no marker here. This is kind of great. Uh, all right, so. Those places are probably over, um, okay, we're in the temple district. I'm gonna guess it's probably in the market district. That's, that's my, my assumption. All right, so let, let's just run. Let's try to get over to, um, market, uh, for a darn it. Coin. You have your to. children will thank you for your help. Yes, here, I have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. You have to. It's the rules. Of upon ye. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the market district. Um, since we've actually picked very hard locks, uh, I'm kind of feeling confident that I can uh, break into, like, anywhere right now, so... I'm like, you know what? If we get there and the place is closed, then, um, that's fine. That's fine. We will just break into wherever it is and we will find this guy. We, 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 we will find him? And we will probably not kill him, honestly. Like, even if he is a vampire, I'd be like, okay, are you a cool vampire? Because <laughs> if he's a cool vampire, then hey, why, why kill the guy? <laughs> We've been a vampire before. We don't want, want someone busted in, like, just killing us. 
That would kind of suck, right? Who wouldn't want to do that to someone else? They, 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 he might be a cool vampire. Um, all right, tavern. See, there's there's so many houses, but I see so few people. That I that actually yeah. Now that I think about it, there's there, there's actually a fair amount of uh, like places that people are like live, but I don't actually see a lot of people in the streets. Uh, okay, there's there's some people, but like yeah, you you should say that you know you could say that there there should be more people, but still like. I don't know. The best defense. Okay. Yeah, we've been to the best defense. Let's, let, let's go back. Alright, I'm looking for... I don't even remember his name. Uh, Roland Jensurik. I'm looking for Roland Jensurik. Did, did, did he uh, come in here with any... Uh, A pleasure to speak with you. Potions or anything? Or not potions. Did he need... No, nothing. Um, Bye. Yes. Can you tell me about, uh, buddy? No. You too. Is he hiding upstairs? Or in your basement? Maybe he is in your basement. Let's break into the basement. We're going into the basement. All right. Let's see what's in, uh, their basement. Um, paint palette, pickaxe, yarn... Wooden door, I guess this is one of the- Okay, so they, they probably live here. Where's Roland? Where is he? Um, nothing. I, I could go ahead and- ooh. I'm like, repair hammer! I'm like, I could go ahead and rob them, or- ooh. Exit to the market sewers. Very hard. Wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, do we go down into the sewers? Sure. Let's let, let's do it. Let's try to get into the sewers. Yeah, maybe maybe if we went to all the different locations, we'd find they they would all have sewer entrances. Then again, maybe every place has a sewer entrance. But I'm like maybe that's the connection. Maybe buddy's down in the sewers. All right, we're down in the sewers. The best defense basement up there. All right, let's take a look. Now, this this definitely feels like Dun Dungeon territory. So, um, oh, there's a mechanism over there. It probably opens up that gate. Turn the wheel. Is it going to open that door? Oh, yeah, it opens up that part there. All right, let's uh, let's, let's 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 creep around a little bit in the basement, or in the in the sewers, because I suspect that uh, that our, our our buddy Roland here may be down here in the. Uh, why is there a locked chest down here? Interesting. Then this is just the lock picking episode, isn't it? I'm glad I've got a lot of uh, lockpicks. Because holy crap. There we go. Gold Serenity. Calm up to level 2 for 10 seconds on target. Now, I don't know what that means for level uh, uh, for level 2. Because I've always read that to like uh, as like calm up to level 2, like level 2 enemies, but like that just does not seem right based on what level we are and what level the uh the loot should be. Okay, we've got a Khajiit over there. Who's going through the gate? Interesting. Now, I, I'm i guessing if you're hanging out in the sewers, though, you're probably a little shady. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be a little cautious around, uh, around her. Um. Uh, I'm just going to. Run over here. There's another chest. This one is not locked. Ooh, a glass mace. <gasps> Elven, Elven queers. Elven helmet. That's probably better than what we've got, right? Jeweled amulet. Thank you. The bloodwork sewer key. A grand soul gem. Okay. Gold. Gold nugget. Um. 
Okay, let, let's let's take it and then sort it uh, sort out stuff after. Okay, let's take a look at our gear. Okay, right now, um, our current helmet is a guard helmet, which has an uh, armor rating uh, or armor value of two. But it's all. I suspect that has to do with our light armor skill. I think. What what is our light armor skill? Like I, I'm like mm, that. Does this doesn't seem right? Like why why is this the same as the other thing? Is this is this a skill thing? Fifty nine. I I think you would. I really wish that it would give me like Morrowind levels of uh, like telling me what like the highest potential armor is, and then tell me what my actual armor would be with it. Kind of hate how it looks. Honestly, I'm like I really hate this. Um, what about the the curse? Uh, that's that is that is definitely better. Yeah, that is definitely better. Um, I think we'll uh, drop the guard helmet and the myth. Oh, that that's that's worth monies though. I could sell it. The guard helmet. I can. I can. I can. I, I'm fine. I, I I can part ways with that one. Um, but the crest, it's, uh, that's worth monies, right? Okay, so that's a little bit more armor. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's, it's moving in my hands. It thirsts for blood. All right, barrel. Um, actually, on that note, should I, uh... I'm like, wait a second, is, is all my stuff repaired? I'm pretty sure it is, but I, I've picked up a few uh, repair hammers, so I'm like, eh, let's just make sure. Yeah, let's just... I'm not wearing the Mithril Curse, so I'm going to keep that off for now. Um, okay. We'll, we'll keep this on because I suspect that this helmet is better. It could not be, but whatever. It's a negligible... well, negligible. With how over encumbered I usually am, it, it is still a difference. Um, but it's not a huge difference, and there's the potential that it's better, so... Let's, uh... Maybe, maybe, oh, That Khajiit is gonna come this way, isn't she? Uh, I need to, um... Okay, there's two. There's two people. Crap. Don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. Okay. Are they, they, they hanging out? They talking? Oh, they, no, oh crap. All right, let's, let's. Ow. What the heck happened there? Oh! The fatigue drain. Okay. <laughs> uh, I like this blade. This is a nice blade. Um, that is definitely, uh, I like that. It, uh, the, the, the drain fatigue thing? Yeah, that's good. Uh, we've got a whole suit of elven stuff now. Might as well go all out. Mithril shield? That's what, armor of seven? Uh, what are, what are we using right now? We are using a Kvat shield. Alright, looks like we're, looks like we're dumping the old stuff. I could sell it. Yeah, I know you could sell it, but whatever. All right, uh, Helvin Gauntlets, Boots, Greaves, thing, and, uh, let's leave other stuff behind on you, like, Gauntlets, Greaves, um, Shield, Boots, where is, sure, there we go. <laughs> it looks, it just looks funny, I'm like, I've got no pants on. Um, where, is it? there we go. There we go, we, uh, what was our armor before? There we go. That's definitely higher than it was. Um, okay. 
cool. We've got ourselves a whole new set of uh, armor. So no, it's it's uh, there, there's a there's a gate there. Uh, your sneak skill has increased. Excellent. Do you know I'm here? I'm guessing not, but it's possible that you do. Um. All right. Uh, this sword, that, that drain fatigue on it. Like I'm, I can imagine putting a poison on here. <gasps> One of my drain fatigue poisons. Oh man, yes. That would be just. I gotta try it. I've gotta try it. All right, let's let's go damage fatigue. Oh wow, I don't have as many as I thought I did. Um, but like one hit from this. Oh hi. Whoa, I missed entirely that one. All right. Um. You don't seem to be hitting as hard as the other one. Oh, did you drop your weapon? Oh, she's having a hard time standing up. Oh, I disarmed her. Right, right. I'm like, how, how, what, what happened? Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I'm like, oh, you, you, you have no weapon in your hand. Might as well just... We'll make this a fair fight. There we go. Um, I'll take the lockpick. I had to make it a fair fight. I was like, I, I was, I felt bad. I disarmed her, and then, she, interestingly though, she didn't run for her weapon. Where is her weapon? Like she dropped. Maybe that's why she didn't run for it. Did it fall through the grate? No. Where did her weapon go? She had a. It was this giant axe, right? Like, did it end up, like, somewhere she can't get to it? And so she just decided to... Um, okay, hold up. Not in there. Where did her axe go? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I love how I'm just kicking... Okay, it's got a weight of 75 and I'm just like kicking it around like it's a balloon. Okay, sure, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, let's see, superior life Oh, I don't have enough- Wow, I don't have enough magic for that, that's right. I got, I've, I've got to work up- work up to that. Alright, well, I haven't found Roland. Um, I- instead I found a bunch of people out, out, just hanging out in the sewers. Alright, let's- let's pick another lock. Grab some gold. Alright. Um, nothing really, uh... Huh. Oh, where does this lead us? Imperial City Market District. Oh, it just leads up to, like, the street! I wanna go to the street! We gotta find this Roland character! Like, who knows where this Roland character is? Uh, honest, actually, you know what? I think I should, um, as far as spells go, instead of use, uh, I think, what, I got bound gauntlets, uh, on five, I think shield is probably a better choice, like a protect. Okay, l let me, let me take a look here. Armor is, uh, 17. With the bound gauntlets, it brings me up to 20. I don't have my shield on. Well, I don't have my, okay, so it's, it's just because it's not equipped. Oh, it's because I got my fists out. There we go. That's why. So, all right, that's fine. So 20. So basically, the bound gauntlets bring me up from 17 to 20. Now, if I use something like defend, which, it, oh, actually, no, protect. Wait, defend or protect? Which one do I want to use? Defend is plus 15. Yeah, I definitely want to use defend instead. All right, so once the bound gauntlets disappear, Um, I'm going to try using defend and see what that gives me. And that puts me up to 31. That is definitely a better uh, spell to use than the bound gauntlets. 
Door to the North Tunnel. Interesting. Um... Okay, have I been here? Where are we? North Tunnel, North Tunnel. Market District. The best defense basement. Uh, now, okay, let's, let's, let's run over to, uh... There was one area I haven't explored yet, so we'll go back there. Yeah, so I'm definitely, uh, uh, wait, did I, did I change the, the spell? No, it's still bound gauntlets. So defend. There we go. And that'll, that'll, that'll improve my survivability, survivability, uh, quite a bit. Actually, yeah, by, by basically making, um, rather than having it increase by a certain armor amount, by having it increase, uh, by a percentage, I feel like, um, the, the shield spell is... Actually, yeah, much better in this than it was in Morrowind. Because if I'm remembering correctly, in Morrowind, like your shield spell is just increased your armor value by like a set number, which means if you couldn't get like the really high, uh, like really high numbers, really high casting number, like values on there, um, your 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 shield was gonna kind of suck. Oh, people are talking. Someone was like, "How are you doing today?" I don't know what uh, they're talking about, but we've got to go explore. Let's uh, let's go f let's go see uh, if we can get over there. Um, there's a doorway over here beneath the bloodworks. Wait, we've got, we've got the the key for this, right? Yo, door open with the bloodworks sewer key. I was kind of hoping I would just uh, pick the lock. But we heard talking. Oh. So we've got some life, co some contacts over there. But the voices they would have to have, have to have been the main ingredient basement. Okay. I was going to say they had to have been in this cell. So we've got to take, we've got to go through the, the water of the, uh, in the other path. Oh, wait. Have I been here? What's this gonna open? Oh, it closes! Stop! No! Oh! Open it! Open it! Okay. So we go back this way. And then... We'll go down this path over here. Honestly, I think- I don't think this is where we're supposed to go. I'm like, the more- the more I, uh... The further I go into the sewer, the more I'm like, this is not at all where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Roland is not down here. Roland is probably at the market picking up his vegetables. He's just not da da. Meanwhile, I'm like, I've got to find the vampire. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Don't say. I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. Well, so long. Farewell. Oh, the timing. My spell wore off right as they were like done their conversation. Okay. Let's see. Is one of these people Roland? Probably not. Uh, that's a Khajiit and... Someone else. No, wait, that's not a Khajiit. Is it? Hello? Um, Who's there? Nobody's here. <laughs> but he's just walking back and forth. Hello. There. Cyrodiil is surrounded to the north and east by the lofty Jordan. Um. Okay, I don't, I, I don't want to draw both of their attention. Do I have, uh... Arrows quivered. Do I even have? Okay, I do have arrows. Okay. Black Marsh has become more dangerous than ever. Many settlers have been lost, and Don't most non-Argonians have left in. Crap! I just needed to know who you were. You're just bandits. Okay, just yeah. cool. I was just checking. Can confirm you are bandits. 
Aha! I'm just gonna, like, keep hitting you with arrows if you don't mind. Or I'll miss. I might miss too. I have been known to miss from time to time. I need to work on my marksman skill though, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna... Arrow you. And, and take advantage of your terrible AI. Is that cool? Stop moving! <laughs> no! No! He got it! No! <laughs> Keep swinging, buddy! You might get me! Oh, he's, he fell down! Hey, can you hit me from there? Oh, darn it, I'm losing all my arrows. Alright, come on. Just r run at me in a straight line. Thank you. I'll just run over here. <laughs> oh man, I love the AI in this game. It's so good. Would I enjoy Elder Scrolls as much if it had better AI? Probably not. There we go. So this is, uh... This is making training my marksman so much easier. <laughs> Kill that air! Yeah! Alright, let's see what the bandits got on them. A uh, bunch of silver arrows. I wonder where he got those. Um... Or... She. He? Whatever. Um... The corpse. Wonder where the corpse got the arrows. No, that's definitely not Roland. Huh. Okay. Well, hey, hey, it's it's okay. It's okay. We um We uh We we explored a dungeon, right? We 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 came down here. We 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 saw some things, we explored some things. And that's okay. That that's 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 I don't know if I'd call it progress. The main ingredient, basement. <gasps> oh man, can I come up into their basement? <laughs> the main ingredient, well what time is it? What time is it? I'm gonna ch- 3 a.m. Let's, let's try to break into their basement. Why not? There we go. Didn't even break one pick. Alright, I don't even know why we're here. <gasps> How did we get here? <gasps> Alexis is just rampaging across the sewers and in the basement of this, this place. Um, alkanet flour. Bone meal. Like, whatever. You know, you'd think, okay, leek, rat, meat, rice. I was like, oh, what do we got here? A repair hammer? Sure, yeah, I, I need to repair a few things. All right, I'm actually I'm, I'm looking at uh, dwarven bow. Eh, there we go. I'm actually looking at the time, and I'm like, wow, I've uh, I've spent a, a lot of time uh, going completely the wrong way. But I, you know what? That I feel like that's kind of the Elder Scrolls, right? Like, if w would it really be an Elder Scrolls game if you didn't have a point where you're just like, hey, I'm I'm traveling around aimlessly, trying to uh, to find out where to go next. And honestly, I appreciate that. Wow, the very easy one. Security skill increased. Sweet. Um, I, I do I do appreciate the fact that uh, the uh, there's no quest marker. It, it, it might it might seem weird, but it's like when you're not sure where to go, like the the advent the adventure you have trying to figure out where to go is uh, it's well. That's the adventure, right? Something. Put a witty quote in there. Like, just, 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 yes. Just, just insert your favorite witty quote and just pretend I said it. I love that I went through a very hard lock without breaking a single lock pick. And here I am on the average one, just busting them all over the place. I think it's partially because I'm talking during this lock pick. Whereas all the previous ones I've been able to like sort of concentrate. Ooh. Um... 
Yeah, so there's 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 somebody there. Is he guarding? Is he guarding the place? Huh. Alright, we'll go back. Um or, or we could just run out the run out the the door, right? Can can we just run out the door? Like all he's gonna do really is just be like, hey, you shouldn't be here. He's gonna be like, don't mind me, just leaving. <laughs> just some random person runs past him out, out the door. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure this is not where we. Uh, that, that that was that was not where we were supposed to go. We were. I don't think we were supposed to go into the basement. But uh, uh, was it a fighting chance? Was a fighting chance at another place that that mentioned? Three brothers trade goods. That's that's another location, right? That was mentioned. I know for sure that one was mentioned. Three brothers trade goods. Um. Okay. I, I, no, you know what? I'm I am so out of time. Uh, we're gonna have to do that next time. Uh, like I don't know. Um, maybe I missed something really obvious. I might go back to his house and see. Uh, if I if I if I miss something. Uh, let's see. What does the journal say? I should begin to search the place for any clues as to where its whereabouts. Huh. I feel like this could be it. We'll have to check it next time, though. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, we're going to break into this place. Or walk in, depending depending on if the sun's out yet. Uh, and see if uh, we can't find uh, Roland. It is Roland, right? Please tell me. A okay, we are looking for a Roland. Um, that's what we're going to do next time. But until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.